Hi all, Microsoft has recently announced various changes to its certifications. Are you wondering what are those changes? Let's look together. Let's see when and what is changing. Starting June 2021, Microsoft role-based and specialty certification would have validity only for one year. In order to renew your certifications, now you need to pass associated assessment on Microsoft Learn before the expiry of the certification, which used to be exams, but now exams are replaced by associated assessment. Starting Feb 21st, free renewal assessment will be available on Microsoft Learn for this certification. You can retake this assessment as many as times you need in order to pass the exam, but it has to happen before the expiration date of the certification. And if you have multiple certifications, you need to do multiple assessment. So each certification must be renewed separate. There are a lot of things going on here to understand better for the impact for different scenarios. Let's see on the timeline how it will look like. Let's start with certifications earned before June 21st. For this case, if you have earned certification June 21st, it will still have a validity for two years. What does that mean is now in order to renew that, you need to do the renewal assessment, which is allowed six months before the expiration of the certification. So in this case, if someone gets a certification just before June, that person get it for two years, which is June 2023rd, and the assessment will trigger six months before the certification expiration. So for next one and a half year, that person should be fine, but Microsoft will allow renewal assessment in the six months before the certification expire, which will be starting Jan 2023rd. So once that assessment is done, that person will get that certification renewed for one year. Same thing in that next one year, six months before Microsoft will again allow your renewal assessment and the cycle continue. Now let's look at the example when certifications are earned on or after June 2021st. This is when Microsoft will implement one year validity of the certification. That means any certification on or after June 2021st will have validity for one year. So to renew that certification, the renewal assessment will trigger six months before that expiry date. That means it will trigger from Jan 2022 and then the cycle continues. So if you see the same kind of just by doing certification a little bit before June or a little bit after June, someone can see that within this period, the assessment has to happen over four times versus three times. This is because anything which gets certified before June 21st will get first two years. After that, it will get into one year cycle, but anything that is after June will get one year at a time. So it's good if you if you're planning to do some certification and you want to avoid the renewal assessment cycle for some time, you should try to get these certifications done before June 21st. So that will give you two year validity for the first time. Now let's look at the certification expiring on or after Feb 2021st. So Feb 2021st is also an important date as we've seen before. This is when Microsoft is starting to introduce this renewal assessment. So if a certification expired on or after 2021st, what option do we have? We have renewal assessment option only at that time because the renewal assessment will be introduced. They are doing it in phases. So like in Feb and March, but assuming whatever certification is getting expired, renewal assessment is there. So starting Feb, we should be able to get the renewal assessment and start that cycle. How about the certification which are expiring before 2021st? Well, in that case, since the renewal assessments are not available yet, we need to go with the traditional way that is going with a renewal exam. We need to go with the exam and that exam will give you validity for two years and then after that your cycle will start. So these are some of the scenarios I put together to have an understanding how this change will impact and different different situations. Now is this change good? Well every change has some pros and cons so let's see what are the pros here. Here one pro is we get free extension every year not like before we used to pay for exam, you need to schedule exam. Here it is all online, you do online assessment. So it is free extension every year. This approach is also promoting continuous learning. And other good thing is there are multiple attempts allowed. So I think there is like a gap of 24 hours is there, but there is between two attempts, but there is no limit on how many attempts you can do as long as your certification, the main certification is still valid and it is not expired. Now let's look at some of the cons. First one is one year extension at a time. So that means you need to keep extending it after every one year. Earlier it used to be okay. If you're done once, you have good for two years, but now you have 
one year extension at a time and for some people who are holding a lot many certification this will add up extensive learning commitment every year because they need to do it for all the certification so this is it about the updates let me know if you have any comments thanks for watching hit like or subscribe for more videos like this thank you